hey guys welcome back to my channel it's me nika okay so today we are doing like a medieval mirror or something i can't explain it but i was going for like a medieval mirror or like a medieval window or something i wanted to enclose the painting but also leave it really open i can't explain it but that's what we're doing today um yeah, let's enjoy the intro first. All right, you guys, we are jumping right into this. It's going to be sort of like a mirror I'm going to be using black on the outside and then I'm going to be using a green magenta a teal green as well as gold and copper and I'm going to have all of the colors that I'm using in my description box below and yeah that's what we're doing So I'm just going to take my finger and fill in the spaces with the paint because I don't want to blow it out further than I would like it to be. I kind of want this black to stay right here. So there is always a method to my madness. For those of you who have taken my course, you know exactly why I keep my paint in squeezy bottles. For those of you who have not taken my course, it is still up and available. It's self-study, it's self-paced. You can do what you need to do, when you need to do it. And I go a lot more in depth on my courses. Right now, I'm just you're just watching me. But in my courses, I go in depth. I teach you about fluid art. I don't just show you. I hope that makes sense.
so I am just finishing closing up our little mirror and then I'm gonna blow out our white and then we're gonna blow out everything else I will be honest in saying that this technique that I'm doing with the whole enclosed mirror type of thing is a little bit more intricate. So when blowing out your paints, you gotta be really, really careful because I want all of my paints to stay where they are until I'm ready to blow them out. So, you know, just be a little bit careful. When you get to your edges, like either you can turn your blow dryer to the side, like I'm doing there, like I'm using the edge of the blow dryer's mouth or you can just fill it in with your finger like I did earlier with the black. Now it's time to blow it out. Now if you notice while I'm blowing, I am going to kind of take my time while I'm blowing because although I want the mirrors, the parts to be a little bit different, the blowouts, I still want them to be similar in style. So I'm gonna blow out the bottom and then I'm gonna stop and then I'm going to do some manual blowing with my mouth <laughs> and then I'll do the rest but I still want these mirrors to go together I want this to be like a I want it to be a set a theme a duo a pair a couple
really loving how this looks but this is not doing it justice i have to take you guys down to see it and here we go look at how beautiful these colors are together the way the magenta mixed with this teal oh my gosh the gold the copper this is beautiful and we have some very nice natural cells here look at that this piece is exactly what i wanted it to be and it looks even better dry i'm going to insert a picture so you guys can see what it looks like dry i love this piece thank you so much for joining and i will see you guys next time Mwah.